Okay, listen up. Right after today's digital life hack, we've got a weekend call from the Kim Commando Show. You're going to love it. How much do you think you have to pay to watch every single NFL football game on cable? I'm going to give you a clue. It's a ton. I'm Kim Commando for Total AV, the award-winning antivirus software for just $19 right now at protectwithkim.com. According to MarketWatch, if you have cable, it's going to set you back almost $2,500 to see every single NFL game. For football fans relying solely on streaming, that's $1,700 across seven different streaming platforms like Prime, ESPN Plus, or Peacock. Now, you can still catch some of the action without spending any money. Here's how. Use a digital antenna. Local channels like CBS, NBC, and Fox broadcast the games, especially on Sundays. Then there's the NFL Plus app. You can stream local and primetime games for free. Last up, Tubi. You won't be watching live games, but Tubi offers replays after they air. If you don't mind a delay, it's a solid pick. Enter to win a brand new iPhone 16 right now at winfromkim.com. Hey, have you heard about The Current? It's this amazing free tech newsletter that keeps you in the loop about everything. AI, making money, and insider tips to get ahead at work and life. Everything is tech now. I can't afford to fall behind, and neither can you. In just five minutes a day, that's it. The Current makes it so easy to stay ahead without feeling overwhelmed. Join half a million people at getthecurrent.com. It's free. Don't be left behind. That's getthecurrent.com. Sign up now. Getthecurrent.com. Staying true to my promise, I've got an exceptional call for my weekend show, The Kim Commando Show, just for you. Morris in Houston, Texas. Hi there, Morris. Hi, Kim. How are you? I'm good. What's going on? Well, I'm a senior citizen. I thought I knew how to deal with computers, but uh, I guess I'm wrong. I had to switch from a from a Mac to a to a PC. I my house flooded a couple of years ago, and we had to take pictures of all the uh, items that were damaged. Uh, uh, and sorry to hear that. Not only did I take, yeah, me too. It's the worst calamity that ever happened to us. Um, I took pictures. I had friends take pictures. And so I wound up getting uh, pictures from memory sticks, from iPhones um, and tablets. And I also, like I said, switched from a Mac to a PC. The bottom line is I have thousands of pictures on my PC. And now I just found out not only do I have all those pictures, but I've actually got multiple files with the same name. And many of the pictures have uh, quadruplicates. You know, it, it's crazy. Now, I started doing it. I started going through one file, and, uh, you know, I could, I, you could easily find the duplicates or mm-hmm. quadruplicates in my case and delete them. But it took forever just to go through, you know, one page of that. And I've got pages and pages and pages. So what I'm looking for and know, let me is just an Let me app. just stop you right there. Mars, I am not coming over to your house and getting rid of all your duplicate photos. <laughs> I, I wish you would. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'm just trying to get an app that is safe, reliable, that will uh, find all those duplicate pictures and basically not to delete them because it may inadvertently yeah. uh, take a picture that shouldn't be deleted. And, you know, it got deleted. And, of course, you can't get it back. But move it over into a temporary file. And, you know, then I, I'd be happy with that and do that. And you know, I don't mind paying for a sure. uh, an app that can do that because it will save me right, hours well, and hours and well, hours. Let's, let's, let's talk about it. Okay. Uh, is there's one that works on Windows and Mac, and you're interesting because most people go from Windows to Mac. You went from Mac to Windows, but that's okay. Um, well, I I had a lot of problems with my Mac. It turned out being very very slow, and I actually called the Apple people, and they did their best in getting rid of some junk things that I had on there, and it just didn't work. Yeah, you know what? Every you know, up. it's to each its own. You know what I mean? Whatever you yeah. like. I mean, yeah. some people like Hondas, some people like Harleys. Uh, right. Uh, the uh, program that I'm going to recommend is called Duplicate Photo Cleaner. We have links to it over at commando.com. It's uh, it's not very fancy. It does the job. But I think one of the features that you will like is that it will put all your duplicates into a separate folder. So it's just not automatically go, oh, these are two pictures of a faucet. He only needs one. And you're like, no, that wasn't a faucet. That was my leg or whatever it may be. 
Uh, mm -hmm. Then there's also uh, another one called Sea Cleaner. That this program's been around for quite a while. Sea Cleaner, and but there's a, a paid version that also will find duplicate photos as well as files because you said you also meant files. So uh, take a look at Duplicate Photo Cleaner or Sea Cleaner, and then you're going to be like, oh, thank you, Kim Commando. All the duplicates are gone. And thank you for your call today, Morris. Hey, big kudos to you for sticking around. Now, if your brain's buzzing with questions, let me know. Head over to commando.com and then click email Kim. You have to trust me. I read every single message like it's a new gadget manual. Well, I actually do it better than that. I never read a manual. Do they even have manuals anymore? Anyway, elevate your tech IQ with my free daily newsletter. Head over to getkim.com.